Well, today we're talking about the RF 50mm F1.8 STM versus the 35mm F1.8 Macro IS STM. Which one should you get? Let's talk about it. Well, hey there, my friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tony, and I am a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. Today, we are talking to relatively cheap lenses when it comes to the RF system. If you've got an EOS R, RP, R6, R5, soon to be R3, you're gonna want to get these RF lenses because they're so much smaller and they're so sharp and good. Now, for 200 bucks, you can get the RF 50 millimeter F1.8 STM or for like 500 bucks, I think it's 500. Or for 500 bucks, you can pick up the RF 35 millimeter F1.8 Macro IS STM. Now these lenses are really similar in quality, but what we need to decide is which one is gonna fit your needs best. Now let's talk about specs. The RF 50 millimeter F1.8 STM, like I said, is 200 bucks. That is super cheap. It is also very, very tiny. You stick this on a camera body and it's gonna be very tiny. You're not gonna find a lens that is smaller. And it's the OG, the 50 millimeter nifty 50 plastic fantastic. This thing's been around forever. There's no IS. There's no macro. There is a focus ring that doesn't click because you can also use it as a control ring. Now, when you look at the 35 millimeter, this one is basically the same focusing system. They're both STM, which I don't personally mind. I don't really care. They're good for video uh, and they're not terribly noisy. Uh, this one is also very small package, comes in around 500 bucks right now as this video is going. It is still a very small lens compared to most and it has image stabilization and some macro capability. Now this isn't gonna be a full one-to-one -one macro, but it is gonna let you kind of push in on your subject and you're not gonna feel like you're, you can't get close enough. So now when it really comes down to it, you have to decide, do you want 35 millimeters or do you want 50 millimeters? Now the advantage with 50 millimeters is it's just a really pleasant focal length. I've kind of been obsessed with the 50 millimeter lately. In fact, I even mentioned thing about getting the one too. It's a lot bigger, better glass, more expensive, all that fun stuff. But I really love the 50 millimeter because it's just a really standard look. It's kind of what we see day to day. And so uh, you can pull back and get a full body shot. You can get in close and get some really portrait looking shots. And so uh, 50 millimeter, just no frills. This little lens is a good one. The advantage of the 35 millimeter is one, it has that macro, and then two, it has some image stabilization. So if you're shooting on the EOS R or the RP, those both don't have any internal stabilization on the camera. So if you've got one of those cameras, I really do think you should just spend a little bit extra and get the uh, 35 millimeter. Now, 35 millimeters is a beautiful focal length too. And this is one that I have taken with me all over the place. I took it to uh, Colorado last year. I think I took this one to Africa with me. I mean, this lens has just been pretty much everywhere and it's been a great lens. But then when they released the uh, 50 millimeter last fall, obviously I had to pick this up and uh, and I just fall in love with it, just like I have all of the Nifty 50s. Let me give you an example between the difference between 35 and 50. Right now, we are actually shooting on the EF 35mm f1.4, but most of my videos like this talking head one are done on the 50mm. Let me swap out the 50 real quick and I will show you uh, the difference. Okay, so here we are with the 50 now. It's obviously tighter, but for the most part, this will work. I just need to move the camera back another foot and it changes the framing around a little bit. I really like the look of the 50 millimeter. I really do. The 35 just lets you see a little bit bigger in both directions. So if you're working in a tight situation, the 35 might be another option to consider. So now you can see the difference. If you're doing like a talking head, either one of these will work. And this is not a huge room. It's like a 10 by 10 or 12 by 10 or whatever a bedroom is, I don't even know. But let's go back to the other uh, framing. So 
Basically what it boils down to, these are both very good lenses and you're gonna enjoy using either one of them, but if you've got the R or the RP and you're planning on doing any handheld video, you're gonna to wanna to use the 35 millimeter. If you've got the R6, the R5, you want a really small package, you don't mind not being able to have that little bit of macro capability, this is a really good lens. Bottom line, you should probably just go ahead and buy both of them. They're cheaper than the 85 millimeter F2 and you're good to go. So that's my thoughts. Huh. All right, well, this is a short one, but I just wanted to say, hey, hope you have a good weekend and uh, let me know your thoughts. 35 millimeter versus 50 millimeter, which one wins in your book? See you in the next video.